love. I'm cooking dinner. And I think this side I'm going to go live. And so you guys can see what I'm cooking. Don't look at my crazy here. I am cooking... Pop Cho. With okra. I might have squash to it. I'm not sure yet. So, so far... I've cut up pop chow and okras. I'm gonna cut up more. And I'm gonna put fish on the side. Wild caught, no farm raised. I'm gonna put wild caught fish on the side with um, wild rice. So that's what I'm making for dinner. So I'm just um, prepping at the moment. Boogsy, Zion, may I have some music, please, with your phone? May I have some music on your um thingy for me, please, if you don't mind? Yeah, please, and thank you. <laughs> so your face, your your grandfather one. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But I'm cutting up more pop chow. Or pop chai as it's called here. So I washed it with um in some salt water. Not soap like I saw somebody wash veg what was it? Fish? Fish with soap, I think it was. No. This is with some salt water. Just to get rid of whatever germs because it's um it's organic so you know you have dirt and everything because it's come from the ground so I wash it with some salt water to get all that crap off it I cut up some already I only my vegetables cooking out so I make um big chunks because um it's I like healthy eating and I want all my nutrients cooking out of my vegetable I just need something to give me some vibes. Some kind of the house quiet. So that's what I'm doing. See? It's still cutting a pop chow. And as everyone know, I'm a pretty healthy eater, or should know by now. So, most of my ingredients will be natural mm -hmm. ingredients. No GMOs, no MSG. I was going to add Kalalo to it, because you know, Pop, pop Chow only have a little bit of greens. And I like, I like my pot to have a lot of greens. Okras is frozen, so that's why it looks like that. Because I freeze it so it stays, it lasts longer. Some berries would be good, Papito. Some berries would be good. You have Pandora on your Alexa? Um, you could use mine. What is it? The same as everything? I think it's the Kiriani one, though. The, um, underscore. Oh. Kiriani at Yahoo. What? Empress underscore K-A-Y 10 at Yahoo. Is it Kiriani one? That's what it is? Yeah, just get a whole word my password now. <laughs> Mr. Free Momina, please. Alexa. Play Barry's Hammond. Alexa. Play Barry's Hammond. 
Can it be louder so I could hear it? That's how loud it could go. Hmm? That's how loud it could go. But you have speakers. So, this weekend is hard to set up. Why? Just hook it up to it and that's it. Yeah, but then I gotta unplug it. Kamani, can you not play with me right now before I knock you out? Like Tyson and Lewis. You have a lot of stuff today because I want to um, redo my the the, di the living room. I'm going to put the turquoise stuff back up. And always wash your hands, people. I have a th I don't like things on my hands, so I'm always constantly when I'm cooking, constantly washing my hands because I don't like the feel of food and all that stuff on my hands. So I'm constantly washing my hands, even though I'm in the process of still cooking. I'm always washing. So someone just tell me I'm bougie. Might be true, but... Hey, Nika. Hey, Scott. Hey, Kiko. If someone told me I'm bougie because of my eating habits, I eat very healthy and all my stuff is always expensive of god he knows what like for example i'm cooking fish but i was telling a person because you know we here in the city it's hard to get um fish just like right on the boat especially where i live so i bought from the supermarket some wild caught fish and wild caught is expensive as um mf so i all my stuff is wild caught like, I'm gonna do fish on the side while caught. And the person's like, You are so bougie. I'm like, Yeah, I don't eat farm raised. I don't eat tilapia anymore. Because it's farm raised or made in China. And I don't eat Chinese food. So everything I bought is wild caught. And it's a little bit more pricey. And my monthly grocery bills is always so expensive. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, You're so bougie. Like, I guess I might, you could call it that. Then I asked a person um, about turkey neck. Then I, who eats turkey neck? Jamaicans don't eat turkey neck. I'm like, yeah, we do. Jamaicans do eat turkey neck, especially the ones that don't eat pork and beef like myself. We all substitute a lot of stuff for turkey neck. Like, for example, when I'm doing stew peas, I use turkey neck or chicken gizzards because I don't eat um, red meat or pork. I'm trying to stop eating turkey too which I don't really eat much of turkey I only use like turkey neck for my stew piece I love stew piece stew piece is my weakness so that's the only thing I use it for apart from that I don't really eat I don't eat it at all actually that's the only thing I use it with but yeah they say I'm bougie because I eat healthy and I don't eat regular stuff from the regular stores and if I'm doing chicken I mostly get my chicken from the butcher not the supermarket because there's a thing and if you if Jamaicans know what there's a thing here called Allah meat, which is like the Muslims where they kill their animals like what we do in Jamaica, like hang and kill, let the blood drain out. And that's a better way of doing it. Instead of slaughtering it like um the meat that they supply the supermarket with. So I get my chicken from the butchers. And you use that chicken to make some curry chicken, it tastes like you in Jamaica no or no um msg none of that crap so it's all healthy eating hey dirk hey oral brianna brianna zaya brianna is on here brianna. auntie brianna huh that's your neighbor little boy My son is trying to hook up some music for me. But he's being mean because it's his speaker, it is Alexa, and his. So he's being mean. You know, I want to. Oh, now I'm cutting up onions. I don't really eat onions, so when I do cook with it, which is all the time. I cut it very tiny so I don't have to pick it out. I like those big chunks of onions because I'll pick it out and then I won't enjoy my meal. 
So I cut it real small because I like the flavor, but I don't like to eat it. So if I can't pick it out, I'm good. It's too fine to... Mm. Start right in my eyes. Shanique, I'm coming to see that baby girl of yours. I'm just gonna just cut everything and put it in and just steam it at one time. Managa, um, do the in pour separate thing. I'm just cooking, cut up everything, put it one time. Time. You okay, Zion? I use mostly ground provisions and natural seasoning. So I just put some time in the past. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in a second. Just let me finish putting it together. I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on it, but I don't use iodine salt. I rarely use salt, but when I do, it's, uh, and it looks, I'm using my front camera, so it's showing it backwards, but it's pink Himalayan salt. Um, or I'll use, uh, sea salt but you know with vegetables it has um, vegetable naturally has a bitter taste because it is vegetables it's supposed to have that taste and the salt kind of balance it out and I use like a teaspoon or less is it? I'm gonna put some Maggie in there Maggie the vegetarian um, the one that's a vegetarian on it I'm gonna show you it's somewhere here. So I'm gonna use Maggie. I love cayenne. I use cayenne pepper. That's very healthy. Very healthy. So I use cayenne. So this is Maggie, all purpose. But I use the one that says vegetarian on there. It has no MSG, no GMOs. So that's what I use um, when I do. You know, I think I use Maggie in everything, you know. The typical Jamaican in me. Oh, I just made, um, look at Zion. He drinking juice I made. Blend up, blend up. All natural. I No water. I use coconut water in his juice. So his juice has, what's that? Zion carrot? I think that one is carrot with strawberries and blueberries and raspberries and all the berries that you could think of that's, that I have in the house. And I just made another batch a few minutes ago I put in the fridge. And look what I found at Walmart, guys. This is alkaline water. I love, oh, love it. So Walmart now carries it. I used to get that Marshalls. I used to get that one. <laughs> that is that is for. Peppers, Aya. Let me try one of your hot sauce, Aya. Where your hot sauce is? That way, I'll have to pepper. Your sauce, your peppers are peppery, very spicy. So, yeah, my son likes spicy stuff way more than I do. So, when I buy his hot sauce. Me. When I buy his hot sauce, I have to buy it from a special store that is nowhere near here, like it's like a half hour away. And um, I keep it on a different side of the cupboard, which I can't find right now. Okay, this one is his hot sauce. I don't see the others. Where? That's that's not yours. That's a Jamaican oh, sauce. Yeah. Okay, this is my hot sauce. 
Jamaica hot sauce. This is his hot sauce. This has one of the hottest peppers in the world. In it. And this one that just bought him, that is like literally $10 a bottle, almost $11. Spicy, but that's what he likes. I don't eat stuff that's spicy. Oh, he don't like okra, so now he mad that there's okra in there. He don't like okra. I love okra. I don't like the sliminess of the okra. He does not like it. So that's what he doesn't like, and that's the part that I like. I'm not gonna cook the um the fish in the soup for that. No. I'm not gonna do it. What I do with the fish? So I'm gonna do fish, the pollock. I'm gonna cook it down in some coconut milk, butter bean. So that's what I'm gonna cook the fish down in. Barris Um but um oil. I should have put this on the bottom. That's what I should have started with, but put a spoon on. I use a coconut oil to cook with. Or um grapeseed oil. Don't, I'll probably just use a teaspoon, a tablespoon. Just so. I'm going to turn the stove on now. I let everything just cook. So that's but, um, coconut oil. Just a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Or a tablespoon. One of them, I don't know. But that's what I'm using. So now I'm gonna start the fish. We'll see. Zion. Zion. May I have your help, please? I need the cover for this. And I need um the other pot for the fish. The other Dutch pot. The fatter one. So I'm gonna let that slow cook and um I'm gonna start the fish as soon as it's what five minutes pop it my wine you will see. Oh let me bring you guys so you can see it before I um cover it up. My camera now turns on. All right. So this is everything. Like I said, I didn't mix up anything. I just put everything all in one. Just sprinkle everything on top. So once it's simmer, it will um everything will get blended. Oh, and I'm lazy. I'm supposed to cook. All right. So that's that. My Dutch pot. So now I'm gonna do the fish. So I'm gonna have you guys watch me do the fish and see what I what I do with the fish. And then I'm gonna do wild. Well, Kamani's gonna cook rice today because he's lazy. Easy. So you hear him? A brag go that's easy. So he might cook rice today. So oh, y'all can see outside. Zion gonna cook rice. I'm gonna cook the fish. How I'm gonna do the fish is 
it's pala or camperon pulak or whatever so I'm gonna um cook it down because I want a lot of gravy it's coconut milk butter beans I'm gonna put on the coconut milk the butter bean I'm gonna season the sauce which will be the coconut milk and the butter then I'll just sit the fish in there and let the everything simmer together and eventually it's gonna marry so that's what I'm, I'm gonna do So this is my Dutch pot, and that's how I cook the fish in. I am so old school, y'all. When I had my first apartment, I went all the way to Jamaica. I'm buying my Dutch pot that I care about in a suitcase, cause, <laughs> and that's what I do. So yeah, so I went to Jamaica, buy my Dutch pot, and carry back, you know, my suitcase. Go way downtown, down the market, and buy my things. So that's what I did. So, I should have some curry for my arm, but not, I'm a, I like a dash of curry, not to like make it curry fish, but just a dash of flavor. What do you think, Zai? I don't know. I'm just a bystander. You're just a bystander? Yeah. Oh, you found the cup. You should have said that. You had it in your hand. I took it from you. No, the cover for that one. Oh, my bad. You was to get to take it too long and I sat right there where I could reach it. Well, you said I said so. I was still looking for it. My bad, my bad, my bad. What the um, what the opener there? The black angle one. Come on, can you when you do the dishes? Can you make sure the drawers are fixed properly? Be gonna. Mommy, got to get stuff in here right now. Look at that. Because all because it didn't fix my properly. Can you get the stuff out of there? I'm not gonna fight with it. Alright, for the fish rubber made Maggie. Cayenne. Mrs. Dash. No GMO, no MSG. As natural as I could get it. Most of my seasoning are leafy or seedy or that type of seasoning that I may use. So I'm going to use basil leaf, what is, crushed pepper, I'm going to use cayenne pepper, fix the drawer, Those fix that thing properly so they're sitting in each other and go to the back of the drawer. Um, what I want here, chiracha spice blend, I'm going to use that, I'm going to use oregano. All my seasoning, oregano, oregano as come on you want to say, oregano, listen, the Jamaica, the Americans, so anyway I pronounce it, it's fine by me. Make this look a boy stop telling me pronounce my words. It's so, oregano, not oregano. Your box side. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. All natural, no MSO, no um MSG, no GMOs, all natural, organic. All my stuff, or my, possibly all my stuff that I use is organic. I think so. Cause I don't buy anything else unless it is. And um, I have a couple of okra leaves. I got to the fish though. I'm going to try it in the fridge because come on, you don't like it. I don't mind driving me crazy. So, before I start again, I'm going to clean up a little bit. What am I having in the microwave? Why am I having this out? You finish your drinks, Zai? Yeah. That bottle empty? Yeah. There, I made some juice just now. Um, put, it in your, put some in your cup. And put it in the freezer. I think it's gonna be better if it's served um at the ice cold temperature. This that, the one I just made has um papa, banana, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry. Um, I added a little bit of the um the alkaline water to it, so it to, so not to be fresh. I use organic honey, just a little bit though. I didn't have much, so I do, and I don't know what it tastes like. So you have to tell me what it tastes like. Too much. I know y'all don't live here. Alright, that's okay. And can you um after you finish the one I ask you to do, can you get my cup from my car? I just saw it. So why you never carry tea in? Because I thought you wanted to No, I forget I forget it yesterday. I forgot it. 
I'm straightening up back before I start the fish. I don't I don't like to cook in a messy kitchen. Um, you know with the vegetables and the small my kitchen is small. So with that being said, my um I'm straightening back up before I start the fish at least. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. That's nice. No, it's not. It's nice. It's spicy. Oh, the ginger. It does have a lot of ginger. You can add water to the film. You see, um, alkaline water. That's alkaline water. Don't use all my water in the Zion. This thing is said moisture in my charger. Dang. Alright, let me start. I'm gonna... Come on, let me use it there. The DJ quick. Alexa, not even on. Alexa, play Barry Hammond. Shuffling songs by Barry Hammond. <laughs> Star. Don't even know where to start. Well, I tell you. So, all right. Before I start the fish, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of coconut oil. One tablespoon of coconut oil to the pot that is already on. That's me, Queen of Lady. Queen of Lady. No, it's not a baby. Greater than my only Queen of Lady. Organic coconut oil. That's what I cook with. It's no but the maybe the only thing sweeter than my only Queen of Lady. The only thing sweeter than my Butter 
I don't want a lot of liquid in there, so I'm gonna strain off a lot, some of um, all the water off the butter bean. Cause it's gonna spring its own, being that it's frozen. When I'm cooking fish, because it's gone out, um, I like my fish to be moist and not dry. I leave, I pretty much leave it frozen instead rather than thaw it out. So I'll do that. Let's put some time in there. We're just turning on the vegetables. So I'm um, Zion doing something I asked him to do. So he's gonna do that. Then he's gonna cook rice. And y'all can watch him cook the rice. My little chef. Him said that easy, so you always see him cook. And this is pollock. I like pollock because of the firmness of it. It doesn't really flake easily. So it gives you like a steaky type texture. So I like that. And I'm gonna use it frozen because like I said, I like my fish to be moist and not um, dried out. And when you cook with it frozen, it kind of keeps the moisture in it. And because it's frozen, it won't take the season unless it's cooked into it. So that's one of the reasons why I, um, I season the pot, not the meat. So the, the pot will have all the seasoning and then everything will just slow cook in it. Because it's going to slow cook. Three, three, six. Come on. That's okay. That's small. Alright. I'm going to put some crushed peppers in it. This is crushed peppers. All my seasoning again is either seeded or leafy. I the only powder seasoning I use cayenne, which is good for you. Maggie, me put Maggie pan everything. So Maggie, and it's the vegetable one. No MS, um, no MSG, no GMO. Maggie. So I'm gonna sprinkle some red crushed peppers. And I like my, my food to be well seasoned. This is sriracha ginger lemon blend. And tell me it's part of seasons, I'm sneeze. Basil leaf. I already put thyme in there, that was the first thing I put to do. The seeds about my sneeze, guys. Oregano. Like I said, the fish is frozen, so I cook it with frozen and then I season the pot, not the meat. So everything marry once it's slow cooked. So it marries together and all the flavors get cooked into it. Mrs. Dash, I love Mrs. Dash. No MSO, no MSG, no GMO, and it's salt free. The crisp is salt free. Hi. Alexa, play 
Chronix. Shuffling songs by Chronix. So I'm gonna do onions. And the time already is I'm doing onions. I'm gonna do scallion and some okras. All natural, all organic. LT live and LT heated. You are grass. Cold. Yeah, make your food be a medicine. Medicine be your food. Chronic said it, not me. They're fresh. Mix the vegetable with the fruits. Chronic said it, not me. <laughs> Pepper, onions, garlic. This is Berlina. Medina. I'm gonna show you guys. My mom got me a ninja for Christmas, y'all. The best gift ever. I've been using it too. So I'm gonna cut up some garlic. Normally I buy the minced garlic, but I don't know why I didn't buy this stuff. I hate cutting garlic because it's so small. Do a Medina. Medina. Y'all guys, y'all need to start growing what you eat and eat what you grow. Uh, Mom, I'm cooking um, pop chow with fish and um, kamani semo the wild rice. So the fish pot stop what already? Turn that down. Make sure everything y'all use have seeds. These seedless stuff, these fake things they're giving y'all seedless, like not, not supposed to be seedless. So I'm um, cut up some sweet pepper, some yellow sweet pepper. Just throw it in there, like, just throw it in there. I tell her name is Chronix. Coconut milk. Kind of like what's in there, so I'm gonna put some more coconut milk in there. Your eyes.
what it looks like for now that's the coconut milk it's gonna eventually melt that's coconut milk so fish and everything since start boil bubble gala bubble bubble gala bubble put the bubble in the box cover this is the vegetable man i'm gonna myself give me a second i'm gonna find one That's the veggies. And y'all know vegetable springs it own water. So I don't need to put no um I don't need to put no water in there. Because the vegetable spring your own water, I make it own gravy, make it own juice or whatever you guys want to call it. The vegetable do that. I'm going to put some sea pepper in your set too. May I try to put another camera? Alright, I'm going to put some pepper in the um, vegetable. Sorry about that. I'm gonna put some pepper in the um the greens. Got everything in the green right now. So let's add some more, you know? Start the fire. And like I said, I try to do organic. So this is the pepper I put up for add to the vegetables. You already have some in the fish. Zion! Zion! Better keep up some more. Start a fire. We walk in a room and start a fire. Start a fire. Zion! Finish it on play. Oh, my man. I thought you were in your room. What are you doing? You finish? Yeah. Um, you finish my ass, you do? No. Rice. 
and I'll use the wild rice. No, I don't need to go on the rice because we have a lot of vegetables, we have a lot of fish. You can do about two cups of rice. Cover your mouth in my kitchen. Zion's gonna cook rice, y'all. The Rasta boy gonna cook some rice for them because they don't say they can't cook without my help. Let me tell you, that the boy there, that the chef there. So he's gonna cook rice. I think I'm gonna add another um, fish to this pot. Hi, Bella. Hi, Yo, the command in the chef in the kitchen, nine times out of ten, because he cooks more than I do. And if you ever sit under the sink, you gotta think you better make it easy so he can find his stuff when he cooking. Nah.
question. You know, easier way to do it is just to put the rice into it first at two cups. And then you add the water and bring up the fork up and you just throw it in there one time and done. That's the easiest way to do it, you know? So y'all go see Zion cook. I cleaned up the sink because I had um cut the vegetables and throw them in the sink. So I'm cleaning up the sink so he could get the space. now so um rice is one to one um proportion so if it's one cup of rice is one cup of water so he's cooking he's cooking two cups of rice and two cups of water so you see how he's smart this rice will stick into it so he just add a little bit of water and squish it around to get a rice on stick then he's gonna pour that in pour that in the pot so then he's gonna add his salt he likes using he likes using this one it's pink Himalayan salt so that's what he likes using so he's gonna sprinkle a little bit of that the same thing I use but I use a powdered one he likes the action of doing that I should have a glass of wine don't it and I split I cook with it Rasta man party. So no matter what it is, it, it will be good to our palates from, from what we like eating. So he's just going to add flavors of stuff that we normally use. Um, I would add a little bit of mango to it. You know, I add mango to everything. Just like that. And the um, basil leaf and a crushed pepper. It's in there. It's 
And this is some Mrs. Dash here too. Lemon pepper. So I, te I teach him to sprinkle stuff to so his liking. So um, what he does, okay, I teach him like you cook with your heart, cook with love, and your food come out with love. So I don't teach him to. The only thing he cooks that measure is maybe like the rice, because he does one cup of water. What? But everything else, he learned how to cook from the heart and just sprinkle to like it. So that's what he just. Uh, that's what he's doing. What he's cooking is wild rice with a whole bunch of different type of rice in there. It's white, no, it's uh, Tex Mati, white, brown, wild, and red. So it's a royal blend rice. Bl rice. So it's, ro it's a lot. It's one, two, three, four, five different rices in this. And that's what he's cooking. Don't play while you're cooking. And get off your toes. And he just added seasoning to it. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let's do a corner with a partner. Jamaica bleach them face with not follow nobody. Oh, the man will pants my waist, me not follow nobody. I want the old Jamaica bleach and face, we not follow nobody. Blood fire, food smell good. I follow nobody. Take it and from over the stomach with all that here, no, please. <laughs> It's too low. Can I get a wooden spoon? Oh, the man said, pants for waist, me not follow nobody. How many old Jamaica bleach them face, me not follow nobody. So the fish pretty much is cooking. So what I'm gonna do, I think I have too much liquid in there, but I'm gonna let it um simmer. So it's cooked in um, coconut uh, milk, so that's why it's white in flavor in look. And this is the red sauce, which is pretty much done cooking. Let me taste it and see. Mm hmm. Red sauce done. 